the washboard pad. They think it's nasty, they think it's gross, just something you don't want to see. But it actually, it's like a revolution. So my name is Hong So Wan Vat Tay. I live in Cambodia. I have a business. It's called Green Lady Cambodia. We sell washboard pad and menstrual cups. Plus it's and pad is sticky and sweaty and we don't have much choice. Let's turn to washboard pad. It's made from cotton and the pool fabric which they use for baby diaper. So women feel confident because it's not gonna leak. Also, we have sewing classes to the rural girls in school. The women in the countryside, um, their level of education is not uh, that high. And also in the classroom, teachers are also shy to talk about just women and men body. We just guide the girls to sew the washboard pad by herself. And then we will go on to how their body look like, the shape and everything, uh, when will they get their period and how to manage their hygiene and talking about what is hymen and virginity really. The first step, I will go to the shop to buy the cotton, natural cotton from Cambodia. And the money will go to the women who actually grow the cotton. I will take the leak proof and the cuttings to the serving lady. Some of them are housewife and some of them are women living with HIV. They generate the income for herself and the family, for the kids to go to school, for them to survive and live by. If you want to use the washboard pad, you have to be really committed. You have to be like, Okay, I have to see my blood, I have to wash it, I have to hang it. You soak it and it gets soft and then you leave it for a night and then you can wash it in the morning. I feel good whenever I use the cloth pad because I, every month it, it reminds me that uh, I menstruate without like um, polluting the environment. We care, huh? we coffee some light, some light, and we young pearl, we can't be a more, a more. I don't need to spend money on buying new pads. It's a change that women will take. They have to embrace the change in themselves. And that's where they empower themselves to do something for themselves. Women's body, like the shape and everything is unique to you. You own it. Your blood, it's yours and you own it as well. A feminine power that belongs to you, not anybody else, but you.